Hello! For those that don't know me, I am actually a biomedical science major going into my senior year. So I took organic chemistry last semester during my junior year. I don't know about you, but a majority of my friends struggle with organic chemistry. And it's one of those classes that it makes or break the person's major if it's a requirement, it's one of the most stressful classes for people, and it's one of those classes that makes people not want to do pre-med anymore or go into any, any field that requires organic chemistry. I learned a lot from it, and in the end I got an A in both Organic 1 and Organic 2. Therefore, I decided to make this video to help you guys out for those that are struggling or that haven't taken this class but is really scared about it. Number one, clutch prep. Once you make an account, they'll ask you which subject you're interested in, your teacher, where your school is, and your textbook. So once you fill out those information, there'll be a list of chapters that go along with your book. And then you could print out those PDF files, watch the videos, and fill in the blanks or do practice problems with the tutor. So what's great about clutch prep is that let's say you have no clue about organic chemistry and during lecture you just, you're clueless like me, like how I was, going to clutch prep it really helps you ease you into organic chemistry. It teaches you as if you knew nothing about it and then slowly builds up your knowledge. The tutor for organic chemistry, at least for me, was Johnny and he's a great, phenomenal tutor. He makes jokes, he does practice problems that are perfect to like kind of exercise your brain a little to see if you really understand it and he's a really cool guy. What a funny story. So I got really sick during my fall semester junior year so last year fall around November-ish and I got a I had to pick up like an asthma puffer in Walmart. So there was a guy at the Walmart pharmacy who took my script and everything and it was a really nice guy but he really looked like Johnny. <laughs> but it was just so funny because I know I think from Johnny's bio, he was going to farm school, I think, and then this guy's a pharmacist, so I was like, oh, maybe it's him, but I know it wasn't him. Like, it kind of looked like him, but it, it wasn't him, and his name wasn't Johnny, so I was like, darn it. But here's the catch. For each video, you use a certain amount of tokens, and you could get more tokens by inviting your friends to make an account. So for me, I wasn't that type of person to go invite everyone for like a token and stuff, so I decided to buy a membership. I bought a total of three three-month packs, but that's because I forgot that it renews on itself, so just make sure you like stop the membership before the three months go so you don't have to pay for that extra three months for no reason during break. So once spring semester ended, I was actually hired later on to be an organic chemistry tutor for one and two. I personally contacted um, Clutch Prep and I was like, hey, can I have like some promo codes I could use for my viewers or anybody that stumbles by and wants a coupon code? And they responded really nicely and gave me a coupon code. Therefore, I have great news for you guys. Um, just by putting this coupon code, Angela Y6, you will get $10 off your purchase. Number two, read the textbook. I can tell you, never in my entire life, never, ever, 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 I've read a textbook as like in depth as how I read the organic chemistry textbook. I even answer the practice problems in the middle of readings to see if like to keep my brain going. I highlighted, I wrote notes, I took notes on the side. So in the end the textbook will be your holy grail to all things needed. I don't know if every single organic chemistry textbook has this, but every single chapter in the end there are dozens, plenty of practice problems. And that's where practice comes in. Organic chemistry isn't just about like knowing everything and getting it like memorizing your mechanisms. You have to know how to apply your mechanisms. And to understand if you're actually understanding your mechanism, you have to do practice problems. Therefore, my third tip is to buy a solutions manual. So the textbook does not come with a solutions manual. I bought this on Amazon for around $150. I'm not sure how much my textbook was. Um, I just know that it came with the McGraw-Hill Connect homework and it came with a modeling kit, which I didn't use actually. People say it's really useful. Me personally, I didn't think it was useful, but if you think it's useful, go for it. I just think that if you're going to do practice problems and not know the right or wrong answer, it's kind of pointless. So to have this solution manual, you'll definitely know if you're getting the right or wrong answers. And for most of the questions, they actually do tell you why this is the correct answer or how does this mechanism work. So it's really helpful. Even if you do get it wrong, you could like learn from your mistakes and then go back to it. The fourth tip of mine is to really know your 
mechanisms. So if you haven't taken organic chemistry, you probably do not know what I'm talking about, what mechanism is. So like I'll just tell you like a brief thing. So certain organic molecules, when they react to different substances, they enter they turn to something else. There's a lot of different types of mechanisms, so there's a lot of memorizing in that part. It's really important for you to know mechanisms. And for me, how I memorized them was I used this mechanism guideline. So on this, I would write nothing but mechanisms. I would have like the name or what does this mechanism do and then like um, an overall what it does then an example of what it does. Good ways for me is to write it down and repeatedly study them and also in my apartment I have a mirror as a closet like a mirror closet door kind of thing and I use a um, whiteboard marker walker marker <laughs> so I use a whiteboard marker and I write down my mechanisms I do practice problems and to further consolidate your knowledge on mechanisms it goes back to my previous tip is to do practice problems and, and last but not least my fifth tip is going to be know your professor's exams. Every professor has their own type of exams, every professor has their own style and what they think is more important for organic chemistry. Know your professor's test patterns. If your professor provide an exam from last year, you could refer to that. If the first exam you didn't do so well, understand what your professor likes to focus on. If your professor can provide an exam she or he provided last year for last year's students for you to practice, that would be great. You could test the waters to see how they test and the level of intensity and how specific your professors are, and that's really important to know. Thank you so much for watching to the very end. If you enjoyed this type of video, more about talking and school related video, click the thumbs up button, comment below if you have any more video requests or whatever you want to say to me and also if you're not subscribed already subscribe to my channel for more future videos in the future and I'll see you guys in the next video bye Boop. we're not done yet so I was telling Barrage about me editing about the how to get an A in organic chemistry and he reminded me to add one more it's important things it's all you can do all the study we forget about the magic you know, the powers uh -huh. the external forces that can help you mm -hmm. And that is, I showed her a Dragon Ball Z video. Ta da! For each <laughs> test. Mm -hmm. Each a different one. Each mm -hmm. all important. And each one, each test getting harder for organic chemistry. Yep. Well, each strength of the Dragon Ball Z transformation got stronger. Mm -hmm. And there'll be links, and you should check those out, and you should see the differences. And you'll see the great powers and how they evolve. And if you're a DBZ fan, you'll know them all. Something else that Viraj does is that we have a little tradition is that he goes and buy me Subways. Yes. <laughs> we do not endorse Subways in any way possible. Yes, but we would like to be endorsed by Subways in any way possible. <laughs> Alrighty, that's it for the sixth one. Bye. Peace.